interesting rivalries going on here. Puck and Ricochet both claiming to be the best high flyer in the world. And it was Naruki Doi who turned his back on Masato Yoshino, saying it was him as the backbone of Speed Muscle, one of the best tag teams in Dragon Gate history. And now this is the first time on American soil that these two are going to lock up. And added to the fact that Naruki Doi, popular here despite his affiliation with Blood Warriors, the longest reigning Open the Dream Gate champion in history, squaring off to start this match up with the current Open the Dream Gate champion and the fastest man in the sport, Masato Yoshino. And look at the look on Yoshino's face as he just stares down Doi. After what we just saw Blood Warriors do, not only to Rona, but to these fans who love Blood Warriors and love Shima and Ricochet and all these guys, for them just to tell them to go stick it, essentially, so disrespectful. All right, now it's Yoshino allowing the clean break, letting Doi off the hook as he had him against the ropes, and a bit of a warning for Ricochet in the corner by the Open the Dream Game champ, Masato Yoshino, who finds himself on the receiving end of the waist lock, but a standing switch right there. Quick arm drag and twist by Doi as he controls the arm of his former partner, Masato Yoshino, who rolls through. Quickly reverses positions, takes control of the arm of Doi. What a night we've had here. You gotta wonder just what is gonna happen tomorrow in Union City, New Jersey, in the finale of the United Weekend, where we are gonna crown our first ever Open the United Gate champions, the tag team champions here in Dragon Gate USA. And you gotta know Ronan has as good an opportunity as anybody. If they win tomorrow, they will end up with six points and a clean sweep through that round robin tournament. Very impressive by Ronan, but they've still gotta get through Union City tomorrow. And right now, Yoshino on top of Doi. He's got the arm trapped, he's got the knee in the back of the neck. He brings him right back up to his feet with that side headlock, switches sides. Doi trying to get out of it, arm drag him over. So quick is Yoshino. But Doi. Only one. Yeah, Doi equal to the task, able to float out of that predicament. Open into a standing position, and it's Yoshino hearing it from the crowd, as is Naruki Doi. Although Yoshino is a little more positive in his reinforcement from the crowd. And you see Yoshino, even though he is so quick, he is biding his time, letting Doi come to him, but right now... Yoshino looking to pop, Doi tags in Ricochet, and Lenny, we've got two of the premier high flyers in all the world face-to-face -face in the center of the ring in South Philadelphia. Well, we've got the Open the Brave Gate champion in Pac, taking on one-third of the Open the Triangle Gate champions in Ricochet, and it was Ricochet Winning his piece of that title, scoring the victory for his team in the matchup that won them the belts. One of his first trips to Japan, almost unheard of for a foreign athlete to get success in Japan that quickly. And he looks to continue that success here against what has to be considered a natural rival for him in pop. It's the future of flight taking on the man who gravity forgot. And it looks like gravity just remembered who Pac was. As he went crashing to the floor. It's been said before, and I'll say it again Ricochet is half man, half amazing. No hand, springboard over the top rope, takes Pac out and brings him back into the ring. And just falls back on a Santon cover, but Pac escapes that pin attempt by Ricochet. Blood Warriors now in control of this contest. They came into this contest with no points. World won with two points. And now Masano Yoshino into the contest here. Ricochet trying to find his way out of the corner. And that's Yoshino sending Ricochet into the ropes. Back elbow takes him off his feet. Ricochet back up, but a little bit wobbly as he gets to his feet. Well, Yoshino wasting no time, not allowing Ricochet to regain his bearings. But it's Ricochet smartly bringing the Open the Dream Game champion into his corner, oh, where the rest of Blood Warriors gives him a helping hand. Oh. Yeah, I know how I feel about that. And now they've got Yoshino there, all tied up in the corner. 
And Ricochet with a questionable chop there to the throat region. Naruki Doi in control of his former speed muscle tag team partner. Working over the arm now of Yoshino as he scoops him up. Plants him right in the center with a very hard slam. Before methodically dropping the elbow across the chest, hooks the leg, but a little too soon to put away Yoshino there. But forcing him to expend energy nonetheless. Making him kick out a second time there. Before measuring him for that elbow right down across the sternum once again of Masao Yoshino. Naruki Doi, one of the most technically sound wrestlers in all of Dragon Gate USA. And the muscle half of Speed Muscle trying to hoist up his former partner, but it's Yoshino getting the slam. Very quick with that slam, now looking at, for the tag to Pac, who just last night in New York City made his Dragon Gate USA America debut. Looking to become a more full-time regular in the States for Dragon Gate USA. Well, World One now has Naruki Doi right where they want him. And he wants this. I love when he does this. Coming down really high up and coming down with tons of velocity across the arm of that stop. I don't think anybody gets more height off their missile drop kick from the top turnbuckle than Masada Yoshino. And he's not the tallest guy in the world, but amazing spring in his legs as he gets tremendous height before coming down on the elbow in that case of Naruki Doi. We also see him utilize it in a tag team setting where he connects with the senton on his fallen prey after connecting with the standing portion of his duo. Pac now though with that front face lock. And Naruki Doi just grabbing a handful of Pac's hair. It's one way to try and get yourself an escape with Jason Harding right there to put a stop to it. Well, this time, Doi reaches up, and drags Pac down with a chin breaker, able to free himself. Another chin breaker. Down goes Pac hard before the tag made to Ricochet. As he drops the elbow. And great midair body control there by Ricochet coming in. Only a one count though, as Pac kicks out. Oh, a little fancy footwork there by Ricochet before kicking Pac just right in the face. What's with all the dancing going on tonight? Big right hand by Ricochet. Is he is ready to shoot Pop into the ropes? Great drop kick right there by Ricochet as he stares down Yoshino before going for the cover and gets tagged with the boot for his troubles. As Shima disapproves on the outside, booing Yoshino for breaking up that pin attempt. Oh, but that took a little too long to jaw jack with Yoshino and Pac reversed it. Slam Ricochet down and now they're in the world one corner. Yoshino tags in. Clubs Ricochet right in the back. Double team maneuver here, I'm sure. Pair of back elbows from Pac and Yoshino. And it's Yoshino going for the cover. And another near fall as Ricochet slips out the back door. Sets too soon, I think. Sunset flip by Ricochet, but only two. And a great counter right there as Yoshino tried to roll through, but rolled right into a submission hold by Ricochet here. And Naruki Doi just enters the ring. Jason Harding got his eyes on Yoshino. The fans urging Yoshino back to his feet before he gets snapmared down to the canvas by Ricochet. And he drilled with the boot. And another cover. And another near fall. Trying to stomp on the back, I guess. Trying to keep him in place, keep him in his half of the ring there. And now Doi back into the contest, stomping away at the arm, perhaps. Yoshino picks him up. Nicely done with the suplex cover. And only two. So again, Yoshino able to power his way out. And Doi derisively telling the fans who are cheering his name to shut up. As Brody Lee gets into it with a fan in the front row, as does Shima. And now Doi and Ricochet in control of this contest. Yoshino in a bad way as they back him up into the turnbuckle, send him opposite side of the ring, head of steam. Ricochet catches Pac. Sends him right into the arms of Ruby Doi. 
New Thunder powerbomb, that's Pac in to break it up. Not even a one count, Pac there to stop it. Now Doi getting in the face of Pac. While Ricochet reaches through the ropes, dragging Yoshino into his corner. And with Blood Warriors outside, it's a five on two affair essentially as they introduce Yoshino unceremoniously to the ring post. And now Speed. Not looking like it's going to be coming from Yoshino anytime soon as he's trying to fight his way back to his feet, but clearly that shot to the ring post has slowed him down a bit. So smug is Doi telling this crowd to be quiet and their support of World 1 and Yoshino. Yoshino fighting back now. There's Ricochet just with a shot to the back. Oh, but Yoshino down but down out. Now bad timing. Yeah, sidestepped him. Sling blade delivers. Could he be going for the cover? Maybe. Looking for that tag from Pop. Pop urging his teammate on. Doi trying to put a stop to it, but he can't. Pop the legal man. Springboard missile drop kick and a quick kip up right back to his feet. Pop now on the outside. Saw Ricochet, one motion. There are no words. And Pop right back into the contest. Doi begging off a little bit, perhaps. Not enough superlatives, not enough hyperbole to do justice to the athleticism of Pop. <laughs> and you just see more of it there, connected to the Enzigiri. So smooth, so fluid with every motion that he has in the ring is Pac. And the fans here in Philly appreciate the efforts of the youngster from Great Britain. Popped up and over under the apron. Doi catches him with a shot, brings him in, ties him up in the ropes. We've seen this before from Doi. Connects with that drop kick, just draped there. And Ricochet hanging on to the leg. The top down across the back of Pop. Doi thinks that's it. As Brody Lee just taunts Pop from the outside. And Doi slow but surely recapitalizing here. Picks him up onto his shoulders. Pop fighting his way out of it. Back elbow, Doi just one step behind him. Back elbow of his own. Went for the Pop Katari sliding kick. No one there. Stomps him in the chest. Pop. Multiple rotations across the chest, but only two. From a standing position, I can't even imagine how he does that. Northern Lights suplex, beautiful bridge, and Ricochet just dives to break it up. Yeah, normally when you see an athlete twist and contort his body in that many rotations before landing, it's from eight feet in the air off a diving board into a pool of water, not from a standing position in the middle of a steel and wood wrestling ring. You said it before, Lenny, the man that gravity forgot. That is Pac, but right now, Yoshino, the fastest man in all of wrestling in there with Ricochet, a man who claims to be the best high flyer in the world. Again, one motion, middle rope. Lands on his feet after the moonsault attempt, goes behind. He's got Yoshino locked up, Yoshino into the ropes, bucks him off. Rolls through, takes hold of the foot. Now it's Ricochet showing off his aerial skills. And listen to the crowd get behind Yoshino here. Hawk rallying the troops here in South Philadelphia as Ricochet. Getting ready to dump him on his head. Yoshino now fighting out of it. Down across the back goes Ricochet. He's gonna change things up here as Yoshino puts on the brakes. Submission predicament now for Ricochet. He's forced to carry Masato Yoshino on his back if he's going to make it to the ropes to free himself. Oh, he's almost got a hand out, but Yoshino decides to give it up. Rolls him through that. He was going for a sunset flip there. Back elbow is a glancing blow. Connects. Catches him. Sends him into the ropes. Sets him up for Doi. Just destroys the back of Yoshino there. 
And Ricochet now holding him in place. Again for that senton, I'm sure. Down across the midsection this time. Ricochet used Doi as a springboard for that shooting star press, and Pop just came in from a standing position as though it was effortless to do so, and just kicks Doi right in the skull. Drops like a sack of potatoes. Pop getting ready to fly, second rope. Right down across the chest. It's unreal what Pop can do in a wrestling ring. This crowd in Philly knows it too. They know they're witnessing something special here. Pop rallying the crowd here. Behind he and the open the Dream Gate champion Masato Yoshino running forearm. Sets in position, back elbow from Yoshino. Pop with a scoop and a slam. Move to the midsection. Here's that missile drop kick combo I talked about earlier. Sends Ricochet flying, crashing down on Doi, but only two. World one now, looking to stay on Doi, Ricochet prone on the canvas. Yoshino's gotta be careful, he's in blood warrior territory, went for that springboard, and Pop gets caught by Doi. Doi still dazed though, as he and Ricochet look to double team the Englishman. Hard to the buckle. Ricochet runs up the chest, Doi the elbow. Cannonball in the corner. As well. Ricochet still perched up on the top rope. Oh, Lenny, could he be going for it? Nails it! But broken up at the last second by Yoshino. Two full rotations from the top rope, crashing down on Pop. Only two thanks to Yoshino. Center of the ring, his arms are trapped, trying to 
Jason Hoy right there. He forces to give it up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the match, advancing to tomorrow with four points, the team of World One, Puck and Masato Yoshino. Not a great weekend for Blood Warriors thus far, but as we head toward Union City, New Jersey, we've got World One versus World, and each team four points apiece. Winner takes all.